So today we're speedrunning through Learn to Fly 3, the final game in the beautiful trilogy of a penguin learning to fly, even if he does have some weird ways of doing it. Now the story for this game is our penguin has now created Penguin NASA. And they're doing everything you would guess penguins that Penguin NASA would be doing. They're training, they're trying to find different ways of getting to the moon, they're jumping on a trampoline. I guess. And they're using TNT to explode things. Everybody loves doing that. But finally, we get some plans and there's some things that might actually work because it's like flying, but up. Yeah, this is a beautiful revelation. Now we can start our speed run. As soon as we click on a million, we get a little cutscene, which we can skip. And the first thing we want to get is the slingshot. And yeah, it's a slingshot. We have a little penguin pulling our slingshot and then we make it into the air. Hooray. And then with that, the next thing we're going to upgrade is getting some pressurized gas. So it's just like any other learn to fly game, you slowly get better and better and go farther. So after that one, we can upgrade our slingshot twice. That's going to be able to make us go even farther. And one thing you might notice is as we reach the top, we are going to abort right away. And the reason for that is if you don't abort, you normally have to wait a tiny bit and it's kind of just not worth it. So we'd rather just abort and then keep going on with our life. Try to save that time, you know, easy stuff. So our next upgrade, we have to save up $400 so we just have a tiny bit more to go and with this next takeoff it should work I'm just going to do one more of these aboard that one and what we're going to buy now is the sonic burst and the sonic burst is really nice because I mean it's a sonic burst you can probably already guess what it does so that's going to help us go a lot faster and then with that we're also going to switch our gun or I guess our launcher that is now a gun and make it the Russian roulette so with this sometimes you will get a good launch and sometimes you will get a bad launch and it's pretty much just luck which one happens so we're going to spin it we got a bad launch so it's barely gonna hit us anywhere and I don't know why they decided to design it that way I feel like it's not the best way to design it but I mean good for them I mean I'm not gonna complain I'm not the one who came up with this brilliant idea of getting a penguin to the moon and yeah we're just gonna do a couple more launches use our sonic burst to get up here we're starting to hit some different things like paper airplanes that are in the sky for some reason but now we can go and buy El Fuego and that's going to be a really nice upgrade because El Fuego, I mean, just look at it. It's beautifully engineered. And then after that, we can buy another one of these pressurized gas. And we're just going to want to upgrade El Fuego for a while until it gets to level five. Each time you upgrade something, it's just going to give you upgrades. Obviously, I don't even know why I tried to explain that. It's just going to help us go farther. I mean, yeah, really, I should not have even tried to explain that. But we just want to upgrade this one for a while so we can get the maximum distance and keep going. I believe this next upgrade is going to be about $2,000. So it's going to take a couple of these launches, but we're going to make it there eventually. Our penguin is very much determined to go and destroy the moon. I'll be honest, I don't really understand why he hates the moon so much, but I'm on his side, so I'm just going to help him get there. And this one is going to be an upgrade for El Fuego. We can just do a couple more after that. And yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Each time we're going just a tiny bit farther. And at the end of the day, that's all what it's really about. But we can do this last upgrade for El Fuego. And now it's time to upgrade our pressurized gas a bit because that's just going to be able to give us a tiny bit more height. At this point, we're making so much money each launch. So it's kind of amazing. We can upgrade so many things. I'm going to get these up to level four. And we're also going to try to upgrade our sonic bursts a bit. And these two beginning sonic bursts are pretty much all we're going to be using for the next little while because there's no point in staying in the air longer than those two sonic bursts we don't have the initial launch anymore and it just makes more sense to keep going so i can upgrade both of those to level five upgrade our russian roulette a tiny bit and now it's time to get a new launcher we will have to wait a tiny bit more keep upgrading our russian roulette before we get there but that seems about where we should have enough money to buy a nuclear reactor yeah we're literally using a nuclear reactor at this point hooray and the nuclear reactor is going to be the thing we upgrade for the next little while i'm just going to keep going by doing that and it's pretty funny because each time you see someone do something wrong like drop that coil and oh no now i have radiation all over me yeah i feel like if the repeated falls are not killing this penguin the nuclear radiation probably should and we need a lot of money before we make it to our next launcher so we're pretty much just gonna stay on here for a while i just love how they keep making these same mistakes i don't even know if it's a mistake at this point i mean i'm literally in the nuclear reactor am i just waiting for my penguin henchman to make a mistake why do i not tell them my plans well we should only have to do two more launches before we can finally upgrade from the nuclear reactor reactor get rid of all this nuclear radiation that we're just spewing into the air and we will be able to upgrade it into the omega coil so this is probably the best launcher i mean it is at the bottom and it's called omega so it only makes sense and then we're also going to sell our pressurized gas because now what we're going to want to buy is money turbines. And these are just going to help us make more money. So it kind of makes sense to have them. And yeah, now you can see we just have like money machines strapped to us. I 
really don't know how this makes money. But hey, it works for me. I'm just trying to go fast, get better upgrades every single time. I'll take these probably illegal money machines. So we want to upgrade our money turbines to their maximum level before we move on. Because money is the most important thing that we're trying to get out of all these flights right now. We just want a little bit more money each time and it will be a lot better. So we can upgrade that one to max level, copy it over there. That one is already level nine. We're doing really well until we have our final money machine. And there we go. That should be max level. And now we can upgrade our sonic bursts a tiny bit more before we move on to upgrading our next thing. Yeah, I'm saying the word upgrade a lot right now but that's pretty much just what you got to do with learn to fly three and you can just see how far we're going we're almost the 500 000 distance like we are really getting up there we should also be able to get really far with our second sonic burst being max level and yeah we're just okay there's also a lot of things hitting me and trying to make me not go far but we can upgrade the el fuego one more time we probably only have to do one more launch until we can move on to our next body and we'll see if we have forty thousand dollars it looks like we do so now we can move on to the omega shuttle and along with that we're gonna go over here buy another one of these money turbines and yeah we're just gonna print even more money and the omega shuttle just like all the other omega things that we are buying is obviously really good so for this next little bit it's pretty much the grinding section we're just gonna keep grinding until we get our omega shuttle and our omega coil all the way up to max level so we can just switch off between the two until they make it to their maximum level and honestly there's not too much to talk about here so we'll just skip over to when i'm done with this grinding section and that is going to finally be enough money for that yeah, that took a while to get all the money that I needed for that. But with that run, we can get another one of those sonic bursts, go into another one of these runs and hopefully make $100,000 here because that will be the perfect amount of money. I'm getting hit by so many different things right now, but that is going to be 100,000. So now we can go all the way down here and get an Omega rocket or I miss how did how did I misclick that? OK, thank you, game. I appreciate that. In the Omega rocket, we're going to want to upgrade until it is level four. So we have a tiny bit more grinding to do. And hopefully my grinding won't just be ruined by all these different things that are just in the air we are so fast at this point that it's so easy to hit literally everything <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know what's going on. We're just going way too fast, but we should only have to do two more of these grinding sections and we should be good. So I can just go up there, hopefully get another one of these upgrades. It looks like I have to do one more day of that and just go through this day again. We're going to spend another about five seconds there, go back in here, upgrade our Omega rocket. And now we want to sell all of our money turbines because what we're going to replace these money turbines with is the fuel canisters and fuel canisters are nice because we're going to need them for a rocket. So it looks like I'll have to do one more of these launches before I finish up. I just want to make sure I have enough fuel and, you know, not just die. So that should hopefully be enough to get that. And this should be enough. I hope I'm going to kind of risk it, but at this point we kind of have to, because I want to win this run. So we're just going to have to make it through. Try not to get hit by things because that can really mess you up. Yeah. This game can be really annoying with that. And we're already 600,000 altitude up. So we're doing pretty good so far. All we have to do is slowly glide through the rest of this place. Hopefully not get hit by planes. I'm sorry about that. I might've just killed a lot of people but whatever, it's their fault. They should know that you should never get in front of a penguin. It's just not a good idea. And we just have to fly the rest of the way up. Again, we're kind of hoping that we have enough fuel for this. I think we should, but if we keep getting hit by planes, it might not be the best area. Please stop it. But with all the fuel canisters and all the upgrades we did, all we have to do is really hope that our Omega rocket is going to be able to make it to the end. I mean, we pretty much have the best array of items possible. We have everything that's named Omega, and you already know that's going to be amazing. And then we just have a bunch of other things that are working out really well for us unfortunately this part is kind of slow but it's just part of the speed run and it's kind of an interesting part because instead of just resetting over and over again after five seconds you actually get to play the game who would have ever guessed but it looks like we are very close to making it to a million altitude so this should be the run we just have to make it a tiny bit farther I really hope there aren't going to be like aliens that try to kill me. I mean, I'm just a penguin trying to destroy the moon. Is that too much to ask? And there should be time right there. 1634. And now we get a beautiful cutscene where we get to see our penguin just flying through the air. He's finally made it away from Earth. He's finally able to complete his mission. And then he hits the moon. And I think he probably died. And then the weirdest thing happens with this cutscene. And we see this headshot like... <sighs> What is going on? And if we look on speedrun.com, we will see that I got third place. 
out of only two other people. But to be fair, these are pretty much the two best people on the leaderboard for pretty much every category. So I'm not going to feel too bad about it. But yeah, that's Learn to Fly 3. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It would really help me with the YouTube algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also check out my other videos. I do a lot of speedrunning type content on this channel. So if you like this video, you might enjoy my others. And if you do, subscribe. Bought enough shilling. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.